During a recent segment on Fox News, Jason Chaffetz said some things about the immigration debate between Donald Trump and congressional Democrats. And there was actually someone on the panel who not only disagreed, but held him accountable for his lies. Take a look. You can't also simultaneously claim that you want to maximize transparency and say, get out of the room, we don't want to talk anymore. I don't buy that. And I don't buy the Democrats on, on wanting to secure the border. They wanted to shut down ICE. They were encouraging on the, the, the caravan. That's uh, not I, I don't true. Neither of those it things are true. Absolutely it is absolutely 100% true. true. It is 100% true. The Democratic caucus. It is human trafficking. Respond. You were the one that interrupted the me. Because you said Ooh, things that you aren't accurate. You interrupted a former congressman, but and he's he calling you on it. When he says things that aren't accurate on TV, I'm going to What's interrupt inaccurate? you. The Democratic caucus does not support it. Does not support shutting down ICE. Individual members talk about it. The oh, caucus does not. You didn't hear any Republicans talking about that. The Democratic that. Party is not supporting the caravan. That is a conspiracy theory that has been repeatedly debunked online. Do not repeat it for our viewers. I, I, I wholeheartedly believe. Well, in there's no heart, evidence. There in your is heart, evidence. you might feel that there's yes, no evidence. You no evidence. No evidence, none, none. It's just not true. We disagree on that one. None. We disagree on that one. Well, that's no. a, they're facts. So there's no there's no disagreement about feelings here. There are facts, and you don't you just don't believe in the facts. It's not convenient for you. So who was that? The woman who actually you know stood up to Jason Chaffetz. Marie Harf is her name. She was actually a senior advisor of strategic communications to the U.S. State Department under the Obama administration. So uh, she, nice job sneaking out to the Fox News set. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I know that they usually have one out of five who, who is a progressive or at least a Democrat. Uh, so, but no, most of the time they don't say anything or, or they generally start with, you're all of course completely correct. But can I just say a really weak point mm -hmm. so that the audience at home could feel like there was balance? Not in this case, a wonderful job in calling out Jason Chaffetz. I actually think. The person who was most guilty in that interaction was not even Chaffetz. Republicans repeating lies is like grass being green. It's the most normal thing in the world. He's a former Republican congressman. He's a Fox News host. Of course he's gonna lie. And he and he got stone cold busted. It's like somebody says, um, you know, I think a dollar is worth a hundred cents. He goes, agree to disagree. And it's like a Ron Burgundy move, right? <laughs> But the person who's most guilty, in my opinion, is Harris Faulkner. She was the, the host that jumped in there. There was a host? <laughs> a co host, <laughs> yes. She said to her fellow host, Marie Harf, Faulkner said, You, and you saw it on the tape there, you interrupted a former congressman and he's calling you on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh God, that's so sad. First of all, I don't give a damn that he's a former congressman overall. <laughs> but secondly, he's now a Fox News on-air contributor. He should try to man up and answer a question and not fall back on, hey, I'm gonna hide behind Harris. Harris, can you tell them that I'm a former congressman? I'm a former Republican congressman. They shouldn't say anything to me on Fox News. Okay, that's pathetic. So great job by Marie Harf on actually stating facts on Fox News. I assume they've shut down now, because I mean, for the first time they stated a fact on Fox News. Mm -hmm. So I immediate implosion, I assume. You know, sometimes the facts sneak in there, right? Uh -huh. Like Judge Napolitano. All of a sudden, um, actually remaining principled on, on issues involving Trump and the special counsel's investigation. I mean, every once in a while, a little sneaky sneak situation happens. Yeah, and, and yeah. Shep Smith does a good job, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, they're, they're amazing though, the exception proves the rule. Mm -hmm. So the one time that, it, that a Republican was actually called out on Fox News, people were like, whoa, what happened? Right. So great job by Marie Harf. Thanks for watching this free clip of the Young Turks. Don't forget to become a TYT member today. For more exclusive content, join now at tyt.com/join.